Yeah, so it's uh, tomorrow there and uh, people are counting the cost. I know that Dr. Mbude Yusu, the Chief Executive Officer of a Centre for Private Enterprises, had told us that it will cost about the, it will cost the nation about 400 billion naira daily for the protests. Obviously, looking at the issue of meetings, flights such as that, even the markets, uh, both the commodities market and the financial market, what's going to happen transactions and uh, seminars, everything like that. But uh, let's uh, find out uh, even more about this, maybe from outside Lagos and some other issues connected to this, with the managing director of Benway Investment and Property Company, uh, Dr. Raymond Asemaka. He joins us from uh, Makodi, the capital of Benway State. Dr. Asemaka, thank you so much for your time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, the, well, vibes of protest seems to be building up here in Lagos. Perhaps uh, just before we delve into your investment conversation, do tell us, what's it like in Benue State now concerning the protests? <laughs> yeah, we in Benue, we, I don't think uh, there's going to be a protest because um, the governor, the executive governor is doing what the masses want. And I know that uh, with what's happening and the indicators that are happening, I think we're on the right track. So I don't see the, um, the protester protesting. Yeah, but I, need, I, I think one thing that uh, is worth emphasizing is, uh, I mean, people obviously have the right to protest, but it should be peaceful. Even the president here said that. So I do hope that if people want to protest, the state is not against it. Not, not at all, not at all, not at all. All right. So um, we have Fitch ratings. Uh, Fitch did give a positive and upward outlook on Benway, uh, the national long-term rating to positive. It used to be stable and affirmed your rating at A. What does this mean for the state? All right. Uh, when we came in, the new, this uh, new administration, under the leadership of the executive governor of Benway State, Reverend Father Harrison Talia, We've chose because he critical and carefully chose professional people that they are working with him. So quickly we swing into action and we did what they call the state action on business enabling reform. It's a standard. And uh, the reason why we did that because we want our workings to be transparent for people to see, to know what we are doing. We are not running in a business that is going to be in people's pockets alone. We are running a business that people should see and know and have comment and have value proposition of what the state is doing. So we did the uh, feature rating. Future rating is one of the things that give investors uh, confidence to, you know, invest in the state. Uh, when we started the month of January uh, with the rating, they gave us a B negative. And they've looked at what we have been doing in terms of transparency, in terms of uh, utilizing the, the performance of the sector that we've been getting from the federal government. And uh, basically, when our indicators begin to change up, of what we started doing, they looked at us because they follow us from the one to see what we are doing, to see that if we're actually going in line with the future rating, in line with the, the views, in line with the, the action plan that we have stepped, stabilized to do. So they looked at it and they feel it is important they review because it's a quarterly review. They have done uh, the quarterly review. So we did, uh, we started January, which we were negative and they have reversed to positive and the A negative, meaning that we have followed the guidelines, the rules and regulation of transparency. And that is why me seated here as the managing director of Bene Investment, I am also the reform champion for the state in terms of state action on business enabling environment. If you go on the Benin State side, you will see that all our working in terms of uh, even the CFO, in terms of the revenue generation, and even the spending, they're already there. They, we published that, including our budget spending and other. And that is why they are able to reverse from the negative rating to the positive. What that means is that investors from all the world, most of them have started coming. And that can also make us to also raise bonds of over 100 billion from the capital market. So that is the reason why they have reversed our rating to where we are today. It's a boss for Benue State. This has never happened before now. In the time past, you see that um, 
Uh, in the past administration, you see a lot of people, the, the previous administration, they signed a lot of MOU, but none that was executed. The reason is because there was no rating for the investors to come and see that the EU people actually have rating. For as we speak, business, they have rating and we are not in the positive. So we can even get a lot of liquidities from raised funding from capital market to, you know, inject in the state. If you, if you hear recently, um, yesterday, there was a publication about raising about 93 a, a, a mandatory billion uh, bond. So those are the things that we're bringing in place. There are new innovative that the state has bring uh, because it doesn't have carefully selected people that understand the figure and know exactly where the world is going. That's right. why we have that rating. All right, All right uh, Dr. Asimoka. Well, congratulations. But I guess the bigger uh, applause will come when we see what you will use this rating for. Because it's not just about getting the rating, but what do you use it for? Um, we know it is easy to get FBI or it's easier to get FBIs, you know, portfolio investment, but how much direct investment, sustainable investment? I mean, we know Benway for agriculture, yam from Benway is one of the sweetest that I know from this country. Nigeria mm. is supposed to be the largest producer of yam, yet we cannot export it. So, I mean, it remains to see what you use this positive rating for beyond what we have on paper. Yes. Uh, if you see presently what we are doing, we are doing industrial revolution, unlocking the Benin economic potential. So we have done a whole lot in terms of changing the set. As we speak, uh, in a couple of two months uh, coming up, you see that Benin will begin to introduce the Benin, it will begin to introduce a lot of, uh, you know, usually we used to have a lot of post-harvest loss, but when we came and we began to carefully take those things and refine them to be a positive uh, product. As we speak, Benway's investment have just took a Benway Fruits a Juice. is a company that was moribund, that was abandoned. We are trying to revive most of those dormant businesses. So we are doing a whole lot of a backward integration. Uh, I remember when I came in, we, when we came in, we also talked about uh, uh, bringing back our beer. Because in the time part of Benway State used to have, there were just two things that happened in Benway disruption mechanism. We used to have a, a dangote, I mean, business cement, it was taken from us. We used to have also BA production. It was taken from and Those were the things that were giving a lot of economic, uh, economic activities in the states. So where we came in, we have now started doing, as we, as we speak, uh, Bene a full basket BA is within 45% completion of the new BA. So we know that we want to hold our money and let it circulate within the system. Those are the things that we are doing. So there's going to be a lot of backward integration where the common man will also have value for his money. We're also trying to put mechanisms in place that will reduce the post-harvest losses that we've ever witnessed before. So as Benin State being an agrarian state, we have re, you know, remodified the workings. And that is why we are currently doing what they call the industrial revolution to ensure that we plug in all what we have in one basket so that the basket will go back to the original state that it was created before. Mm, yeah, we certainly look forward to that. But this revitalization yes. of the uh, companies and factories you're talking about, is it being done by the government or is it the private sector? And what's the future plan, the sustainable plan for it? Yes, the government have lead the way. We are government. We have lead the way to ensure that the reforms and policy. Where we came in, we were driving on a lot of reforms, strange reforms and policies that when investors is coming, they should be, you can do working of papers for your business within 48 hours in business state as we speak. This has never happened before now. You can get all the CFO within 72 hours. Those things have never happened before. Those are the things that give uh, investors uh, confidence to come and work. When we resume, we did what they call the local investors forum because the, we, we understand that the local investors that have invested in the state, we need to hear from them. We need to understand what has been the same uh, condition that have been making them not to you know, be affected. We have from them that we develop policies and products that will help them. Holding the local investors were one of the primary assignments that we wanted to do under the leadership of the executive governor of Benin State. So as we speak today, uh, you can see that we have success fully hold the local investor and the foreign investors, you can see they have been coming to Benin State on a daily basis. We have done survey how our hotel accommodation have been fully booked almost on every day because the new sheriff is in town and we are doing the right thing that will make the investors to have confidence in that. 
we have a lot of them coming to Benazir. That is why we say that they are, they still have been able to raise, uh, you know, have this rating as we speak today, reverse from a negative to a positive or A minus. Yeah, so the issue of infrastructure obviously is an important factor when you want to turn these ratings to investment opportunities. Because, for instance, being an agrarian state, you need to connect the rural and uh, uh, the urban area, connect the farms to the market. Uh, what's the state doing about that to be able to... That, of course, will reduce travel time, post-harvest losses, and, and all of that. As we speak today, the state is currently constructing about 500 roads road connectivity from the rural area to the market, to the farmer. So that is what is currently happening. Maybe you need to visit Benue State to see, you know, in the time past, you were hearing a lot of negative things about Benue State. But as we speak, there's a lot of things that are happening in Benue State. The road connectivity is ongoing as we speak. You can see those things in the news. Yeah, so there's a lot. We have also tried as much as possible. We are currently doing what they call the the agro agro hub, community hub. We connect the seller to the buyer and bring one thing in a, a one stop shop. So that's the way we are moving forward. I know that is 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 currently is on the stating stage, but uh, in the couple of twelve to sixteen months we should be arriving to the finishing stage. So those are the things that we are doing. Being an agrarian state, we need as much as possible to handle this thing professionally. And that is where we are as we speak today. Mm, so what's the target? Uh, is your target the domestic investors, the international one? And what timelines are you giving yourself? So we'll be able to check to see if really you're moving or you know, you're not. Yeah, we are doing both the domestic and international. Uh, I can I can tell you that uh, you know in Benin State we have one of the ten uh, being agrarian state contribute about seventy five percent of what we do in terms of the 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 system seed we produce about seventy five percent of the entire country. The soya beans we also produce about seventy five percent, and the yam, which you know that we don't even export our yam. It's Ghana that come here to buy our yam and you know remodel it and sell it. So those are the things that we are doing. The timeline we are giving ourselves. Come in November, we'll start of taking ourselves. We won't allow people to just come to Benin State to take our produce, go and clean it up and export it. We want to be doing it by ourselves so that we'll be able to you know drive the investment, the effect back to the states. So that's the model that we have put in place. We are going to start of taking it so that the farmer will have value for. If, uh, for his or her money as when due. All right, thank you so much uh, for that. And we wish you the very best in your plans and your target, thank right? You so the much. Managing Director of Benway Investment and Property Company, Dr. Raymond Asemoka, for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.